Muskegon County is on the shores of Lake Michigan. It's stunningly beautiful. It's got a long and wonderful history and ups and downs. Right now, they're kind of in an upswing. The city of Muskegon is kind of leading the way. Muskegon Heights is following. In our communities, black and brown, we have a diabetes uh, problem and and it is a concern and it's something that needs to be addressed. You know, like actually having a healthier uh, diet, I think will go a long way in physical exercise as well. Um, it's a huge impact. And so what we have is, you know, early death, early mortality. When you look at the mortality of different communities, we also have the, you know, the zip code mortality issues. When you see, you compare Muskegon to Muskegon Heights, you see a 10 year difference in the, you know, outcomes of these families. So the diabetes prevention program came about through a grant that Trinity Health got through the CDC. Um, they contracted with the YMCA because we have been doing it for a certain number of years before that. Um, and it came about for us to kind of grow and scale the diabetes prevention program to anyone that needs it. Um, we are in year number five of the federal grant. We've scaled across the state of Michigan. And the physicians are able to do something you know, instead of just saying you need to lose weight or you need to go on a diet, now they can send people to a program and they're happy to do it. And they follow up with their, uh, with their patients to see how is your DPP program going. So how the service works is you can hear about us through any way. We take referrals from anywhere, say word of mouth or your doctors told you that you might be at risk for type 2 diabetes. Um, we get a hold of you understand kind of your, your risk, what your schedule looks like, and kind of figure out a time that fits best for your schedule. You get your own certified lifestyle coach, and we meet in small groups to have that classroom style discussion around healthy eating and moving more. So it's not a diet or an exercise program. Instead, we focus on that lifestyle change piece of it. Do, how do we get reimbursed for Medicaid? How do we get the state to recognize that that's an important thing that they should offer all of their Medicaid recipients? And then we look at private payers. We look at, you know, the Blue Cross Blue Shields and the Priority Health, and, which are insurance in, in Michigan, and look to see this is a value proposition. With your, you know, your whole population of people that you have coverage, spending five or six hundred dollars on a diabetes prevention program is going to have a net result of thousands of dollars in savings as you, you know, delay or even stop the onset of diabetes in your patients. Unfortunately, we know that inequities are very real in the healthcare system, and unfortunately that puts them at higher risk for developing type 2 diabetes. And we also know that eating healthier can be a bit more expensive. So what we've really tried to do is make it kind of an even playing field. Um, so the coaches are very well aware of inequities that exist, and we do have funding to kind of bring that back. So if you don't have access to a scale, we're able to purchase one and ship that to you. If you want to be on camera during these Zoom meetings, we can, you know, throw cameras your way type of thing. Um, we also have funding to do food vouchers for healthier food, athletic shoes, um, if you want to be a bit more active, and then funding for kind of direct social needs to kind of help you take care of that bottom line so that you can focus on your health. We're working to make sure all this improvement is distributed more equitably and frankly that the residents of Muskegon and of Muskegon Heights in particular have more say, what they call intrinsic motivation. Don't try and make people do what you think they should do, help them do what they want to do.